Hello everyone again, it's Amanda. I am back to share another one of my rapture dreams I've had. If you look on my channel, I've posted a couple recently, so be sure to check those out. But I let you guys all know I was recording these. Um, maybe some people haven't heard them before, and they're very, very, very special. And they're my most special dreams probably. And what could be better than the Lord's return? So I wanted to record these videos, very important. Um, number one, to share the witness of Jesus Christ. Uh, please share this video. Go back and share any videos you feel led to share. They're all great witnesses to save souls. That's what's really, really important. So please, for, for Jesus, share this video and go back through the other videos and keep sharing those witnesses, okay? If you've never seen my channel before, please be sure to subscribe and receive notifications. So you just click a little button, it'll let you know whenever I post another video. So welcome if you've never been here before. But um, I just wanted to, like I said before, share this dream. So um, this dream that I feel led to share right now is um, very, very, very cool. So I'm just going to dive right into it, all right? So, also though, before I do, if you have any prayer requests, leave them right under this video. Some of you have been asking me to pray for you. It's awesome. Uh, please, don't be shy. It could be a general request. It can be specific. Um, you need to vent a little bit. I'm here for you. So, go ahead and leave me a comment below. So, please feel free to do that. So, let's get into that rapture dream, alright? So, this dream was not crazy long, but... It was like super, super real. So how it started was I was in an area of my house. It was, um, I had this large bathroom in, in my former house. And I was in the master uh, bathroom. And there's a window that was really in this bathroom. And my last room, there was a window also. <laughs> so windows are like visions, right? You can see through them. Um, you can see things coming for the future, okay? So there's a lot of symbolism in our dreams. So anyways, I was in the bathroom and I walked up to the, the window to see through the glass. And outside there was like this huge like party going on. Like it really remind, reminds me, I should say, of New Year's Eve. Like this, I don't know, almost like rave looking party. It was... You know, people just going nuts and there was like a stage like you would see at a crazy concert. And there was all this like gay pride, homosexuality stuff on the stage. And people were just partying and not in a righteous way, okay? So all it was very sinful looking. And all of a sudden I heard this really clear, loud voice. And the voice said... This party's been going on way too long. And right after that last word, the word rapture lit up across the sky in bright white lighting. Rapture, like a flash. And so much about this dream just reminds me of, like I said, New Year's Eve and kind of the state of the world, right? Like everyone's, not everybody, if you're following Christ, you know, this doesn't include you. But a lot of people are in this party mentality, this live it up mentality, that old phrase YOLO, you know, but people are doing it in the wrong way. Like they're lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. So there's a lot of people that are all about the cares of this life right now. And the world's a very dark place. And I believe God has given us an extra time period you know the world has been getting very quickly increasingly more and more wicked but I believe that God is crying out last call for repentance so as I said in my last um, video I believe I believe Jesus is coming back in my lifetime because all the rapture dreams that I had okay I was alive so I don't know how old I'll be but when God says, I'm sending my son back soon, God's timing is different than our timing. Our job is just to put God first, the first and greatest commandment, 
and to love others as we love ourselves. Okay, love our neighbor as we love ourselves. That's the second greatest commandment. So tarry till he comes. That means keep doing the Lord's work. Whatever his specific will is in your life, as you seek God, you will find that he has a specific calling on your life. There is a specific function for you. We're all different body parts, okay, in the body of Christ. And obviously, if we look at our own bodies, our hand does something different than our our foot or our hands than our feet. And your elbow has a function and all these different body parts, right? So likewise, we are many members, one body. So we have all these different callings, even though we're all supposed to be one body, one family, one mind. And we can't tell another body part, I have no need of thee. That's the Bible talks about that. I don't need you. So we all need each other. If one member suffers, we all suffer. But going back to this rapture dream, God sees how bad the world is, okay? There's a lot of mistreatment going on. There's a lot of wickedness. And the love of many is growing cold. But God sees everything going on, okay? Let's be the brightest lights we can be. Let's take advantage of this last call, this mercy round that God is giving the earth before he sends his son back. And then time will be up. Let's go out there and save some souls. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, again, if you have prayer requests, if you get rapture dreams, go out there and share them, you know? Let people know Jesus is coming back soon. And number one, let us not be impatient, you know? He is coming soon though. But let us just keep looking to the prize. Let us keep looking to eternity. And let us keep busy in the Lord's work. Okay, that's part of the greatest commandment once again. Loving God with all we are. Using our talents, not hiding our talents. There's the parable of the talents right in the Bible. Go, go read it. You know, we don't want to just hide our talents and waste time. So I'm praying right now for you the Lord's will. I'm praying that you would know exactly what, what the blueprints are for your life. God's ultimate design. And I'm praying that you would have the bravery and the courage and the confidence in Christ to do whatever it is he's calling you to do. Remember, we can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth us. And please be sure you're getting into your Bibles too, okay? At least two chapters a day. Use the King James Version. God revealed this to me prophetically. It's the, if you speak English, which I assume you do if you're, if you're watching this video, Use the original KJV. It hasn't been tampered with like all these other versions they keep coming out with. So anyways, I love you guys. And I hope that, um, that you will share this video and I hope that it will inspire you to become an even better Christian and to have the confidence you need to go after all God has in store for your life. All right, I love you guys and I'll be posting some more videos. Again, go go back and watch those other ones I just did. So they're they're kind of basically all in a row. Okay, so they're they're pretty close together. All right, I love you guys and God bless you very much.